Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog on my channel. I know it's been a lot of vlogs lately, but you guys seem to have, seem to have been, is that even right? Seem to be enjoying them. But I did do a little poll on my Instagram story yesterday and you guys for the most part said that you're loving the vlogs, but you maybe wanna see one video throughout the month that's not a vlog so that should be kind of the new plan for now so right now i'm uploading about once a week so that'll be about three vlogs one other video per month let me know how you guys feel about that and as always you can comment video requests or things you want to see in the vlogs things you want to see for other videos girl boss guide sustainability videos other stuff <laughs> i don't know i feel like i haven't done anything besides a vlog in so long i'm like what are other ideas that I used to do when I didn't do vlogs all the time? Anyway, it is a Monday. It's a new week. Welcome back, you guys. I'm feeling pretty good today. I just took a shower, took a squirtle on a walk, kind of just, you know, doing my Monday routine. Promoted the new episode of my podcast, which is a juicy Q&A episode where I talked, honestly, a lot about sex because you guys always have so many sex questions, which... I answered a lot of them, talked about sex, talked about hookups, regrets, a little bit of advice stuff, but it was definitely a juicy episode, so that'll be linked in the description box if you guys are ever interested. It's always linked down there. I'm going to have some lunch. I think I'm just going to have some leftovers from dinner last night. I actually am going to go grocery shopping in a few hours. I don't have much, so I'm kind of running on the last few things of what I've got. So we're going to do a big grocery shop today. Grocery hauls are coming back. I feel like I haven't done one in like two or three vlogs so they are returning today um other than that i'm gonna do some emails kind of boring but i'm behind on my emails so i need to catch up on that today and oh i just got two things in the mail um so i wanted to show you start the vlog off with a little surprise well i know one of the things i know this angle is a little bit different than my usual angle but you guys are higher up which I feel like is more flattering when I have you like down here and it's like looking up at me like this. Let's open. So this is actually something I ordered from one of my longtime followers, Jackie. I follow her shop's page. It's called Grab Bag Botany. I'll have it like on the screen if you want to go check it out on Instagram or on Etsy. I had to support my queen. Ah, look how beautiful this is. This is called a boho resin wall hanging it's like a sun catcher type thing or you can just hang it on a wall probably have to try hanging it in a window but i thought this went so good with like my bedroom i feel like i have to put it in my bedroom i mean i might put it in the living room because more people would see it and like only i'll see it if it's in my bedroom but look how freaking beautiful this is you guys seriously so gorgeous i love getting some new home decor and pieces like this are just handmade stuff it's just so original so i had to order that when i saw it thank you to jackie she also wrote me a really sweet note um to say just like thank you for supporting her and everything like that so i'll have her shop linked in the description box you guys should go check it out i think she's almost at like a thousand sales on her etsy so go check it out see if you like anything this i believe is some tie-dye from um Nicole who reached out I'm pretty sure that's what was in here she reached out to me on Instagram and was like I make tie-dye um I've been seeing you wear it a lot and girl I'm not gonna deny myself tie-dye I got a sweet little note and it says hi Lindsay hope you enjoy some of my pieces from at shop tie-dye by Nick um I've been a subscriber since I was 13 all my pieces are hand dyed by me. Freaking cute, cute tissue paper. Yes, okay, now I have three tie-dye tie -dye masks and honestly, they've been so fun. I was wearing just like the boring blue hospital mask literally until like a month ago and my game has changed straight in with the tie-dye mask. I cannot get enough, that is so freaking cute. And oh my gosh, we love a tank. We love a tank top. It's summer, baby. I'm still rocking the tanks every day. So I got this one. Look at this tie-dye work. Like, how do people even tie-dye this good? I, like, goals. And I love how it's a little bit cropped, but it's not, like, too cropped. I feel like it is the perfect length. Not too short of a crop. Oh my god, guys. Look at this freaking butterfly tie-dye crew neck i am obsessed with the crew neck right now 
something about hoodies with a hood i'm like who is she i don't remember her i don't need a hood let's just get the crew neck something about it i don't know it just feels like not more flattering just like I don't know, that's just what I'm into right now. But look at these colors. These colors are so me. The yellow, the pink. <laughs> this is so freaking cute. And I know she just came out with like a butterfly collection of hand dyed or tie dyed pieces with like little butterfly patches. So it's kind of cute because like switches up just a normal tie dye. So that makes me so fucking happy. I'm about to be, honestly, I think I might change into this when i go grocery shopping and then honestly the mask like goes really cute with it so i might be stepping out at whole foods today so shout out to nicole this seriously like made my fucking monday i love supporting y'all's small businesses and sharing them go check out go give a follow even if you can't buy anything you can give a follow and support somebody in that way who has their small business um and yeah you guys are always welcome to dm me on instagram at your small businesses i'm gonna have some leftovers for lunch i think i'm gonna do some emails for like an hour or however long it takes to go through my inbox for the last couple weeks yes i am that bitch that will let my inbox pile up for two or three weeks and then go on one day and reply to everything which is very unprofessional but something about me just hates like not hates my emails i just let it get backed up comment down below if you can relate i don't know that's probably not a good thing to do all right guys i'll see you in a little bit when i'm done with some boring email work stuff look how cute these look together specifically the mask and tank top <laughs> um yeah i just wanted to show you guys i'm gonna wear this to the grocery store actually I think I'm gonna go to three grocery stores. It's just my life now. Just gotta get all the goods. I did some work. I did the dishes. Changed. And now it's like 7:10. So I, I don't know why I'm leaning like this. I've showed you the outfit. I'm gonna walk Squirtle and then head out. Um, I've been liking grocery shopping around dinner time because it's typically less crowded, or if you go like after dinner time. But around this time, you know, like everyone's pretty much eating dinner, so there's not as many people at the store. All right, I'll see you in the car. Hello, the lighting's kind of tragic. Why does it like flicker like that? It got dark so fast. I went into Whole Foods and it was not dark. I came out of Whole Foods and it was dark. Oh, honestly, is that better or worse? We're just gonna, it's not that bad, honestly. You can see me. Okay, you know, summer is really coming to an end when you used to go grocery shopping at this time, drive home, and it was still perfectly light outside, and now I'm not even at my last store, and it's freaking getting dark. Ugh, I miss when the sun would set at 10 p.m. Like, that's literally my favorite part of summer, is just, like, the light being out for so long. But now the sun sets literally at, like, before 8.30, so. Ugh. Anyway, guys, um, I went to Whole Foods, and I freaking forgot to tell you guys, finally found not found it's definitely been around but i finally started going to this place called grocery outlet which i'm pretty sure it's a chain like i think they have it several places i don't know exactly what states it's in what cities it's in but anyway they have them around here and holy shit that place has the craziest fucking deals like i just have to tell you guys for a second you can get like 20 dollar bottles of wine for five dollars so literally i i will not be going anywhere else for wine unless it's a very specific one that i want my favorite part is they have oatly barista just get this okay so the normal price of oatly barista at my whole foods which is the only place that i thought they had it in freaking boise is like four dollars and fifty cents i can get it at grocery outlet for buy one get one free 199 so that under two dollars instead of nine dollars i can get two freaking oatly's like the same thing that is literally mind-blowing <laughs> for me so i don't know how long they're gonna have the buy one get one free on the oatly but bitch like holy shit that changed my life everything is so cheap like i get these green teas for 69 cents it's crazy the only thing that's not like amazing about it is it's not necessarily like bulk uh bulk friendly and like zero waste friendly so i really feel like i just go there for a couple things like wine drinks i mean guess i guess just drinks like wine oat milk 
the green teas, and then like dog treats and a couple of random things that I found. But holy shit, I got so much there for $54. Three bottles of wine. You guys will see how much I got from there for $54, and I hope that you will be shocked. Anyway, I'm going to go grab a couple things from Whole Foods from the bulk section, and just a couple things that I couldn't find at Whole Foods tonight that I need to grab here. Yes, I go to three grocery stores. It's absurd. Okay. <laughs> Here is a beautiful over, what's it called, overview? Sorry, I'm really hungry right now, guys. It's literally almost 10 o'clock. I've been gone since like 7, I think like 7.20, 7.30. And yeah, it took me a while because obviously I went to three stores. But anyway, let's do our grocery hauls. I got, if you cut off right here, I got all of this at Grocery Outlet for $54 and that's basically $44 because this thing of melatonin was $10 of my total. So seriously crazy for four Oatly's, freaking eight green teas, three bottles of wine, drinks, canned stuff, dog treats. Like I seriously think this would cost me probably $100 elsewhere. Anyway, I just am so happy I finally started going to that place for certain things. Definitely for wine and beer. They have like white claws, all that kind of stuff. If you guys have one, you should go check it out um, if you've never been. I'm going to keep it a little quick tonight because I am really hungry and I want to like put everything away. So I'm just going to be pretty brief. I got some hummus, some doggy treats for squirt, some street taco tortillas, super random, some marshmallows because I'm going to make Rice Krispie treats and I realized that I was almost out of them. So I got a bag of those. Um, this was an impulse buy. I love these so much and I just thought, I don't know, they were affordable and I saw them and, and it was an impulse. I got two things of pinto beans. It's not pinto beans, <laughs> like I said in my last vlog. Honestly, I got three bottles of Pinot Grigio. I'm a creature of habit. What can I say? It's been a Pinot Grigio summer for me. One of them was $6. The other two were $5, but they're all like $15 bottles of wine. Apparently, that's like the compare price. So I got these sparkling waters. I've never had these, but I just, they were super affordable. I think like two for 99 cents. So I thought I would try them. And then of course I got eight of these. I don't know how you pronounce it, but they used to have these at, they do have them at Whole Foods and they're $2 and they're 69 cents at the grocery outlet. So I like having stuff like this. I've told you guys before, but like I always crave like an iced drink at like mid afternoon. And I, I'm trying to like not do coffee twice a day so that's kind of like an instead thing for just when i want something like besides water midday um i think i already said i got the dog treats the melatonin and then this was literally so crazy all this oatly was under four dollars for four things of it and it's interesting because i've never seen it in this type of packaging other than at the grocery outlet like when, if you guys remember how it used to look in that like mini carton from Whole Foods, but it's the same thing and it's shelf stable, which is also different than the other one. So I don't know. It tastes pretty much the same to me. Um, I mean, it's the same thing. This one's just like shelf stable. So anyway, that's my speech on my Oatly addiction. You guys know. So we'll do Winco next. I got some bulk espresso beans and some bulk pasta also from the bulk i got honey avocado oil and olive oil and i think i've told you guys before but they have these little containers that basically i'll buy it once and then i'll oh somebody's ball rolled over here and then i'll just keep filling it up and like bring it home and then once i'm out i'll bring back the same containers so anyway i have one for each of the bulk things if that makes sense um i also got some pesto a red pepper cherry tomatoes strawberries that was actually whole foods and whole foods whatever it doesn't matter um in here is some sugar sap peas and then some basil some this was random i was not i was looking for something else and then i found echinacea and was like you know what i should replenish my stash of that for like when you get sick or just preventing getting sick it's pretty good for that so 
got that random i got two supplements today that's a little bit random but you know um some tostito scoops i'm gonna make guac so i got that some cheez it's of course you guys know the boca burgers i already have a pack so that's another pack and then some buns from whole foods that looked really good and fresh um, I think that's everything from there and then we'll just move on to produce really quickly So much produce today. Like I'm proud of myself. I got a lot of yummy fresh produce <laughs> Garlic a baby look how it's like the size of a garlic a baby red onion because I I really like Using red onion, but I, I usually never finish the whole thing because it's very powerful But then with like a normal onion, I definitely like can use it easier. So red onion normal onion tomato ginger carrots sweet potatoes red potatoes yellow potatoes a shallot for a risotto <laughs> um a one thing of romaine and one thing of butter lettuce i really like getting this like tiny little butter lettuce head loose from whole foods by the way i wash these like before i put them in my fridge and everything because Obviously, they're naked and then some limes and some avocados and lastly I I've started going to the um, counter to get my meat instead of buying it It's just um, it doesn't come in plastic when I do that and it's usually like more fresh So I do it from Whole Foods. It definitely is more expensive, but for now I'm like cool with it So I got some bacon and then I got a bunch of chicken breasts I have a friend coming into town this weekend and I'm gonna like do a bunch of cooking So kind of like prepping for that with some of the stuff I got as well And lastly mozzarella cheese and burrata for a couple of recipes that I'm gonna make as well and that is the grocery haul. Oh, I look really tan because I did my tan from earlier today is finally hitting. Best feeling. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm pretty like, I just wanna sit down and be done with like this three hour errand. Every time I go grocery shopping, it's honestly an or not an ordeal, but it's like a whole, you know, it takes me like two hours to do my shop and then come home, set everything up, put everything away. It's, it's really like a three hour honestly processed. I'm gonna put this stuff away. Honestly, I'm not gonna cook tonight. I'm probably just gonna eat cereal for dinner because I do not feel like dirtying up my kitchen and cooking right now. So I'm gonna eat something really quick and then I'm just gonna hang out with Squirtle and I don't know what I'm gonna watch. Probably Glee, I've been watching Glee. So that's what's going on with me. Hopefully you liked the grocery haul. Some different things mixed in there tonight. Hey y'all. Wait. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> It is um, Tuesday and I am hyped up on a cold brew. Mm, 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 mm. I got my first pumpkin drink of the season pretty early this year, let's be honest. Um, the pumpkin cold brew from Starbucks. I like that, I do. I'm not the biggest PSL girl, not that I don't like it. I just don't usually get it. I like something a little more hard hitting such as a pumpkin cold brew anyway i only finished like half of it i did get a venti and i'm cracked out so we had to take a break come upstairs do a little makeup i'm filming two videos today for patreon i want to look kind of cute i haven't done my makeup honestly in so long i want to do my hair that is what we're here today for i'm wearing like a cute little dress i'll show you guys an outfit of the day when i'm ready because i honestly am getting cute today but what is the first thing I need to do? Sorry guys, I seriously am like so hyped up right now. I need to chill out. All right, we're doing a little spritz. I'm not gonna show you guys like an entire makeup routine, but I just kind of felt like chatty, felt like talking to you a little bit. A Cosmetics, your skin but better. I guess it's a setting spray, but you can use it like before your makeup too. So when I'm tanned, this color, which is still, I think it's like the second lightest shade. It's still very light, but honestly, when I'm fake tanned, it's like a good color on me. And it's the shade Fair Light from It Cosmetics, the CC Plus Cream. I like this in the summer because it has SPF 40. And it's like a pretty good coverage. I would say it's like a medium coverage you can definitely build it up so i'm gonna i'm gonna start off with one pump i might use a little more but this honestly a little goes a long way i find with this product so i kind of like to dot it on 
But anyway, you guys, yeah, I feel like I haven't shown you makeup stuff in a really Oh, also I need a pluck at some point. I meant to do that before my makeup and then I literally forgot. Whatever, I guess I can do that later. It is a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I woke up earlier than usual today because I made Squirtle like a groomer appointment because he really needed a bath and he always goes monthly to get his nails trimmed and then his glands expressed. I know that might be TMI, but if you have a small dog, um, well, certain small dogs, certain dogs in general just like need that done. He goes to the groomer about once a month and he doesn't always get a bath when he goes, but um, when he needs one, like he's been camping and stuff, he gets one. So I dropped him off and he's there. <laughs> and at any point they could, I think it's within, yeah, at any point now they could text me and be like, he's ready. So I'm kind of just like trying to use that time to get ready. I did self tan my face yesterday and some of it up here is like really a little bit much. I'm gonna have to figure out how to blend that better, but definitely putting on a little bit of foundation like evens everything out. Today's gonna be a good day. Basically just filming for Patreon, um, two videos. So I have one for this week that's gonna go up and then I'm gonna do one for next week just so I have it done. Um, I think I told you guys that I have a friend coming into town this weekend, so on Friday. So I'm trying to get all my work done before that so that I can be a good Idaho host. Idaho host. I'm looking in the viewfinder, it's like this definitely looks lighter than my body on the camera, but I swear in the mirror. Oh, uh, well, I guess that makes sense. My, yeah, I guess it is lighter, but I don't want to go crazy on my face like. I know, I feel like it's not that noticeable. What do you guys think? It doesn't look bad, I just, my body's just tanner. I don't know if I even have a foundation that's this dark, because this is like two self tans in a row basically to even get me to this. And the doggy groomer just texted me. All right, so I guess I'm not gonna be able to finish my makeup right now. I probably started it at literally a horrible time, <laughs> but it only is gonna take like 20 minutes to go and pick him up. And then I will come back and finish my makeup, but I guess I did foundation. I look like a little more put together, right? What did they say? They probably said already. Already! <laughs> okay, um, okay, see you in about 10 to 15 minutes. I guess I can do my concealer just while I'm, while I'm here. <laughs> um, I literally feel like I'm on crack, like I'm shaking. <laughs> I really hit the cold brew hard <laughs> today. Oh, I forgot to say, um, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. And I used to do my concealer before foundation, but I think that that's wrong. <laughs> Cause whenever I watch, like, I don't really watch makeup videos anymore, but whenever I watch anyone getting ready, it's like you start with your base and then you kind of use, I look funny right now. You use the concealer as like kind of a highlight. And I usually like, honestly don't do stuff like that, but I don't know. I feel like I should start doing it right. Now I just take my same beauty blender and I kind of like blend everything out. And since this color is lighter, it just kind of adds a nice little, you gotta make sure you blend it in good, honestly, but it adds a nice, just brightness to these little highlighty spots. I'm gonna add some bronzer and stuff when I get back though, to kind of try and even everything out. But I really only do powder under my eyes a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna do it on my face. I feel like in the summer it just makes me, or honestly anytime, I don't know why, it just makes me look cakey and everything gets like kind of dry. So I don't know what's going on with my skin there, but okay, I'm gonna take a brief intermission to go pick up Squirtle and I will resume some of this when I get home. Hello gorgeous, day at the spa, happy to be back. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh my god, there's so many cute dogs in there. There was this like, oh, freaking quirky mix that kept jumping over because he wanted to leave with me and Squirtle. It was so cute. Did you make some friends? Anyway, you probably need some water. Let's give you some water and then we'll drive home, okay? 
She's finally ready, y'all. <laughs> um, I know I didn't finish showing y'all my, I'm just a y'all girl today. I didn't finish showing you guys my makeup, but I kind of just was like vibing. I was listening to a podcast, so I couldn't really like chat while I was doing it anymore, but. It really does look lighter up here than on the body. We're gonna have to find a darker foundation for when I get the self tan going, but honestly, whatever. I'm not about to like, redo this hell no anyway i basically did a full pretty much a full face for like me something i've started doing um that is outside outside of my usual makeup comfort zone i stopped wearing eyeshadow for like two years and then um i just would wear nothing on my lids all i would do for my eyes is mascara um but recently i started just putting up with a blendy brush a little bit of bronzer it's honestly probably not even that noticeable, but I feel like it adds a little something to just a plain eyelid. And I feel like it just makes me look a little bit more put together. So I don't have to like get out and do a whole eyeshadow look. I just don't really like doing that anymore. It just kind of bores me, honestly. So anyway, I did that and I loosely curled my hair. I'm enjoying the curls today. I'm trying to like brush them out a little bit, but I'm into the curls. And then I'll show you guys a little outfit of the day because I really like my outfit today. Today. I am wearing this cute little dress, halter dress. Um, it has this bow in the background. I'm wearing this like bralette under it, which I know doesn't look amazing, but honestly, it's just like pretty low cut. Like if I wore this out to like a full, you know, dinner or something, I'd probably wear it without the bra under. But I know just for like walking around on a casual Tuesday, I'm like, I'm just gonna like put a little bralette on. Anyway, this dress is from free people but it's from the website newly which honestly i found out from christy vetter's vlogs and i used to do rent the runway um but it, it got a little pricey um i loved doing it though it's like where you rent clothes for a month and then you send them back or you can choose to purchase it if you want to keep it anyway newly i, I just started because it's like i think it's 88 dollars a month but you get six pieces a month which if you break that down for like free people and anthropology there's like tons of different brands that's like a really good deal i feel like so Plus, like, you can just refresh your wardrobe every month. So, yeah, I'm just trying that out right now, seeing what I think. This is one of my pieces I got this month. Again, it's, like, from Free People, but came in my... I picked it out in my box. You get to pick out your stuff. If any of you guys are interested, I know they have, like, a um, $10 off. $10 off your first month if you um, want to try it out. And you don't have to commit to every month. You can, like, cancel it whenever. I'm doing a lot of hand motions today i never really wear shoes in my house but i wanted to show you guys like a full outfit of the day so i have on my little everlane shoes and some white socks i just love a little white shoe with the sundress in the summer that's my outfit i feel pretty cute today so i'm gonna get to work film two videos like i've been saying to you guys and then chat with you probably after that hey i um just filmed one video for patreon and then i'm gonna film another at some point but um i need to film a sesh video and i am like not in the vibe right now to smoke cbd because it definitely makes me a little sleepy so a lot of times i film my sesh film my sesh videos at night or when i'm just gonna be chilling but i think i'm gonna wait to record that i'm on one of those weird hunger days where i'm really hungry but nothing like i don't actually have an appetite for anything if that makes sense like nothing sounds good i don't fucking know i think i maybe threw myself off today by like having a big coffee earlier when i first got up and i have eaten i just like i know i need to eat like a lunch right now or an early dinner or something and i just don't like i don't want anything like i'm i'm looking at all my food and i'm like i just isn't that the weirdest feeling? I will eat something, but I'm like, I don't want anything. I don't know why. I'm on my period, so I feel like usually my period doesn't affect my appetite that much, but something's going on today with my appetite. It's probably the cold brew I drank, honestly. Like, coffee always definitely messes sometimes with my appetite and such. I'm going to edit the video I just filmed try to get that up and then in three hours i'm doing a live stream for only my patrons which is something that um 
is really fun to do. It's like a secret little live stream that I just promote to my patrons and we basically just hang out. I answer all you guys' questions. It's like a little chat YouTube live stream. I answer all you guys' questions and drink some wine and maybe play some music and just like, I'm thinking tonight we should play some drinking games. So if you guys are ever interested in stuff like that, my live streams, I definitely prefer it to Instagram live because I can like really see everything that's coming in and I, I know that the people that are coming on are not like random men who come on and are like, show bobs. Show bobs, show vagine. You know what I'm saying? Like those random men that just come on live streams and just like piss everyone off. <laughs> like they don't come to the Patreon. So anyway, um, I have three hours until that. So hopefully this is enough time to get this video edited, uploaded and eat something before I start that. So that's my plans for, um, for the rest of the evening. Hello from me and my messy bed hair that I brushed, but it still looks like this. <laughs> um, it is Wednesday morning, you guys. I kind of stopped vlogging last night before I did my live stream, but it was so fun. It was like an hour and a half I was on and you guys were so funny. We were playing like truth or drink. You guys were all like drinking and chilling with me and we just caught up, answered a bunch of questions. It was so fun. So shout out to any of you guys that came. There was like 140 that came, which is pretty good because I only have like 250 patrons so that many people came on for just the hour and a half that i was on which was really nice and if you ever are interested in a future live stream i'm doing them on patreon monthly as well as all my videos and extra content on there which i know i say it in a lot of my videos but it's always linked in the description box and it's the best way that you can support me as an independent content creator if you ever feel so inclined but obviously i'm here on youtube for free as I'll always be, but I'm in a really great mood today. I'm feeling good. Um, today I record my podcast. I'm gonna do some editing of this vlog, continue this vlog, and I need to clean my kitchen. Is anyone surprised? No. I think I'm gonna have a bagel, an avocado, like an avocado toast bagel, an avocado bagel. You know what I'm saying? Have some coffee and just start my day. Hey y'all, um, I really gotta lean down or else I'm talking to you like this my freaking head cut off um it's about three o'clock so lunchtime for me I, I don't know what's going on with me today i'm just it's one of those days i'm getting distracted by so many things like I'll, I'll be like oh i'm gonna do this and then i start doing like 10 other things so i've been doing the randomest shit today like i vacuumed my balcony that was fucking random and cleaned up out there i got dressed um and after that, I started going around my house and being like, oh my God, I still have stuff that I need to like hang up on my walls that I've never hung up since I moved in a year ago. So I randomly am gonna like hang some things up on the walls. I don't know. I don't know what's going on today. Well, like I said, um, I'm going just berserk. My air fryer just finished up. You you guys know what it is. You know it's a spicy chicken boca patty. I'm gonna have one of those with some sugar snap peas on the side, um, some ranch. Y'all know the drill, basically my pretty much daily, I don't have it every single day, but I probably have it like four days a week for lunch. This is really nothing special, but I do have a new brioche bun that I just toasted up from Whole Foods that I'm really excited to try. But I basically just do, the ranch got a little messy, but I just do bun, ranch, chicken patty, sriracha, which you can't see to make it a little more spicy, lettuce, I used to do tomato on these, but honestly, it gets kind of mushy and I don't think it's actually good. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just getting flop tomatoes. And then I have my sugar snap peas on the side and I have this little side of ranch from when I got food the other day. So I'm gonna use that for dipping purposes. Okay, and I'm gonna put more ranch on this bun. I just wanted it to look more cute for when I told you guys. I'm gonna have a sweet potato with some cinnamon and butter right now. It just came out of the air fryer. She's beautiful, she's steaming. I'm also making a loaf of bread and listening to a record, so please don't copy my me, write me YouTube. Okay, it's time for my sunset walk. Um, I try to do this when I remember most nights if I'm not doing something else before the sun goes down, because it gets cool and it's nice to watch the sun and the sky and it's been smoky here for the past week but today it's clearing up a little bit which is great 
so you can actually see a little bit of the clouds and the sunset before today the sky was white for a week and you couldn't see the blue the clouds couldn't see the sun it was very tragic i have my airpods in but i don't have anything playing yet but every time i walk i listen to either music or podcast because it just makes the walk better um, anyway, me and Squirtle are gonna go. <laughs> I um, had some dinner before that. I recorded the podcast episode on psychedelics, which was super fun. It was like one of the, my favorite episodes I've ever recorded. So I talked about my experience with psychedelics, which you guys know, can't really share that stuff on YouTube. So if you're interested in that, that episode will be out on Monday and the link to the podcast will be in the description box if you wanna go subscribe and that podcast will be out on Monday. So. Yeah, that was good. I've been productive. I'm honestly like really tired. I don't even know. Like my back is sore, which makes absolutely no sense because I haven't worked out or done hardly anything physical today. So I'm confused. I'm also making my loaf of bread. As I briefly told you guys, making a loaf of bread. I haven't done that in literally like two months. That's how long it's been since I've made bread. So I'm doing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I have some like random cleaning and things to do today and tomorrow before my friend comes into town on Friday. So I'm just kind of trying to get things done in advance so I can be available for this weekend and not have to do like work stuff and all that. All right, I'm gonna go take my sunset walk. Uh, I'll try to record like a clip on my phone, but I don't bring my camera when I go on walks because it's very heavy and we don't want to be weighed down. No, no, no. y'all i am it's 9 30 already literally today just flew the fuck by <laughs> i am watching brooke michio vlogs brooke michio i think it's michio hey brooke i don't know if you watch my vlogs but i'm watching you <laughs> that sounded so creepy like honestly i'm unwell and i just cleaned the kitchen every vlog me I cleaned my kitchen again, literally every day. Every day. Um, okay, I wanted to put you guys down somewhere so I can show you. Let's see what this final loaf is looking like. I mean, before it goes in the oven, I'm a little, I want to be confident in my loaf, but I'm a little worried because the last like three times I've made the same recipe, it's either been too dense, not as good as it usually is. Like, I don't know what's been happening. I think it's because throwback to like the beginning of quarantine when flour was hard to find and yeast that's when my recipe started getting weird even though like i had all the ingredients anyway i'm really hoping that's why i haven't made the bread in so long because it hasn't turned out as good the last few times even though i've been doing the same thing so i'm really hoping for a good loaf tonight like fluffy i hate when it turns out flat i mean it still usually tastes good but when it's just dense and flat it's like ugh, i just feel like all my time over the loaf was wasted and it takes a long time like it really does mostly it's just rising time but let's put you guys down here megan lent me this crazy shirt we did a clothing swap this is one of the pieces i picked out amongst several other very cute things. By the way, I have shown this entire recipe in a vlog before. I'll put a card up here if you want to see the whole thing. And um, in that vlog, I link to the recipe I use and everything. It's literally like the same recipe I've been using since the beginning of time when I started making the bread. So my oven preheated and now uh, in my Dutch oven has also been preheating, which is one of the steps. So now I'm going to take that out and then transfer my loaf into the Dutch oven put it in the oven okay here's my dutch oven she's really hot she was just preheating in the oven but she's beautiful gorgeous queen i'll link it in the description box if any of you guys want the one that i have it changed my life brand lodge game changer so this i haven't checked on it this just had its second rise oh my gosh it does not look that tall actually you know what yeah it looks pretty flat which i'm really worried about Maybe I should let it rise for longer. It's so flat. Usually um, it's at least up to like 
there. I think I'm gonna let it rise for like 15 more minutes and see if that changes anything and then I'll transition it to the pot. So see you guys then. Okay, it did rise a little bit more in that 15 minutes, so bless. Um, now is the point where I don't want it to flatten before it goes in the oven. So I'm, <laughs> although it kind of always does a little bit. So I'm just going to take that off. I don't know how I'm going to film this. Where am I going to put you guys? Maybe I can put you over here. So like you're supposed to put this onto a cutting board and then put it in the Dutch oven. But I always just feel like that flattens it even more. So I am going to try to just put it straight in here and hope for the best. And hey, if it's not perfect, you know, what is? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm just gonna do this and hope. It's definitely gonna flatten, whatever. Oh no, this might have been my worst idea. It's so sticky, my dough is so sticky. Oh my God, fuck my life, it's so flat. Oh my God, I hate everything. <laughs> my dough is really sticky this time and it's violently flat so maybe i am gonna take it i don't even know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna fucking damn it this is horrible you know what i just gotta put it in the oven and hope for the best honestly you guys really flat literally pancake but i mean it doesn't look Usually my dough is more floury than this, but I'm trying this time to see if maybe because I was using too much flour, that's why it was getting dense and flat. So it is more pancakey now, but it's also very wet. If you guys saw when I was taking it out of the bowl, there's nothing left in there really. So it all came out, which is good. Um, but I don't know. I'm just really hoping for a good rise. I guess I will be fine with this loaf being a little flat if it's at least tasty and fluffy. If you want the bread recipe, I'll link in the description. Um, it's done in about 30 to 45 minutes, so hoping for the best. <laughs> All right, I actually think I might have overcooked my loaf and I hope I didn't. <laughs> it's never been this like dark on the outer edges before, but I think it's just cause she was a little flat. But honestly, it's flat, but it's still beautiful and I feel like it's still gonna be really tasty so i can't be that mad i really do think it's my flour to be completely honest because i had to get like the only flour at the store once um i couldn't find it anymore and now i'm still using up that flour because i bought two bags <laughs> anyway <laughs> I still think she looks gorgeous. Okay, so it's 11.30 p.m. and I'm hanging shit up in my house because it's one of those nights. I swear I haven't had like a late night Lindsay where I just like stay up and get shit done in so long. And I'm missing like, I don't know if this sounds really random, but I'm, I miss like my night energy. Now every night I just do the same thing really predictable. I just watch Netflix on my couch literally every single night. Like that's my nightly routine. Um, and I kind of miss my random nights where I just am like creative and productive. I hung up a picture down there, which I'll show you guys tomorrow. Cause why am I too lazy to go down the stairs? Like I'm clearly unwell. And then I finally hung up my YouTube plaques. I feel like they're a little bit close together on this wall, but I really tried to get them centered and pretty much leveled for the most part. I don't know, this one honestly is a little higher, but I messed with them for so long. It took me like three times to get that one to this point. So I'm just like going with it. But I had not hung these up since I moved in and I don't really use like an office area. So I randomly just put them on the third level because there was nothing on this wall. I don't know, it's kind of random, but I didn't know where else to put them. So I put them here and then I made up the guest room because we had to wash the sheets and everything since Megan was here and I made up this room. I've never like really done anything crazy for the guest room. Like I didn't buy anything for it. I just used extra stuff that I had from like my previous rooms and previous places I've lived. So honestly, I think it looks pretty cute for like just stuff that I had before at my old house. Um, there's honestly nothing on this wall, which is kind of boring, but there's basically all you need, a bed, a bench, a little nightstand set up, this little window covering, which I think is pretty cute, and a chair, I don't know, and a bathroom. I use this room to work out too, I'll like work out right here. My bedroom's honestly a disaster, and what I'm about to get into is, 
I don't know if I'll do the laundry tonight, but I probably should. I have like a bunch of laundry and random shit that I need to just like clean up. Like look how freaking disaster this room is. Mostly over here. This is what I'm up to at 11.30 p.m. guys it's thursday now yes i'm in my same little t-shirt as last night i'm going to change it a little bit but i just feel really comfy right now and i'm just you know doing some stuff at home so as you guys saw i just cut up some strawberries and i'm having some lemon water and then probably in like 30 minutes i'm gonna have some toast and coffee or something but kind of wanted to do just like a little bit of something healthier first and i'm about to just go and do some work on my computer nothing new today i have a pretty good amount of stuff to do so i'm getting started a little early today i'm about to just go and start editing the podcast eat my berries drink my lemon water that's what's going on today sitting with some Cheez-Its, snacking as I finish up editing the rest of this vlog. Who knew it was like basically a 50 minute vlog. You guys usually say that you like the longer one, so I hope you liked the length of this one. And just, I feel like this vlog in general was kind of fun. Like I feel like I was in a really good mood and I'm just, that makes me happy to look back on a vlog and be like, I was just vibing. Other than when I got mad at the bread, but like it turned out fine, it's honestly, delicious even though she's flat i'm gonna move these now i'm ending off this vlog if you made it until the end and you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up to let me know and leave me a comment down below anything you want to say i love responding to you guys in the comments so thank you so much for watching as always and i'll be back with another video very very soon bye guys